Um, the next thing that with this, we, the, the board was working to make sure that this was part of the budget process. You know, not only this was done before we were getting all these tournaments. Now, because of our local youth kids, I mean, we have around 80 teams that, that currently participate in our baseball, softball. So we were going to do this whether we got the tournaments or not. But one of the things that's really attracted these national tournaments in here, um, some of you all may have read the USA baseball is coming here in, in um, April. And that's going to bring probably 12, close to 1,200 room nights for a weekend tournament. 1,200 room nights to Valdosta. Um, so we're, we're really, I will tell you, as you all know, economic times are still, budgets are tough, economic times are still, the economy still is getting better. Um, but, you know, one of the things is, you know, we're, we have so many kids and parents that are taking their kids out of our county up to Atlanta to Florida, to Alabama, South Carolina, playing weekend tournaments. We've got great facilities here. We're just, you know, it's amazing what a can of paint will do and working together and getting clay and turfus. So we're really excited about bringing these people to Valdosta finally, Titletown. So, you know, it's, it's really a win-win for all. The, the local economy is going to, it's going to be a huge jolt for the local economy, small, small businesses, service industry jobs, uh, heads and beds, you know, and, and also our folks will be staying here, so they're not having to go to another community to spend their money for two nights motel and GAT. As you all know, it, it's not cheap this day and time. So we're really excited about um, we have the facilities. We're just manicuring what we've got, taking care of what we already have, and, and taking it to the next level. So we're talking the Black Softball Association will be coming in February, and there's probably – going to be close to 80 to 100 teams just for that weekend. So between that tournament and the USA, we, we really believe that we, we would have an economic impact just for the community alone, close to half a million dollars maybe, so give or take. So we're, we're, um, we're you know, you, we want to bring people to town. Um, I'm not a director that's going to sit behind my desk and, and wait for them to come to us because they won't. And we, you know, these tournaments, and so we're, we're looking to, to bring, facilitate these events and, and girls softball, ASA, they're also, we've just signed um, a local group. The, they're going to be about eight to ten dates as well. So they'll be coming here to um, play at Freedom Park, um, Volatin, and South Lounge. So we're excited about that. I will um, just brief, brief, briefly mention along with that is our youth program affiliated with Dizzy Dean Baseball last year. Is you know, some of you may know, her, you know, you have Little League, you have Dixie Youth, you have Pony, you have Dizzy Dean. Well, we decided, we, we took it to our coaches and we voted to go Dizzy Dean last year. And I'm, I'm glad to stand before you and say that our 10-year-old and our 12-year-old team were World Series champs in Dizzy Dean in South Haven, Mississippi. So we can play baseball here too. So we're just not a football town as well. So we, I tell you, we've got some awesome athletes. We've got a great coaching staff. And just, you know, the parents were wonderful those few weeks. So we're, we're hoping to bring some more of these Dizzy Dean State tournaments here to Valdosta because when we do bring those tournaments here, um, the bidding for that is in April. Um, every team that will be coming here will be having to spend a night because we're the, the closest team south in Dizzy Dean is like north of Macon. So they will be spending a night here for two or three nights. So we're keeping our fingers crossed to, to get more of those tournaments. Um, just a couple quick things, and I'll, I'll end up. Major capital outlay projects that were approved. Scott Park, um, we will be, we're in the process of lighting that multi-purpose football field. That is in the works right now. We hope to get that field lit um, by the end of, middle of February. So we'll be able to add another field there for our youth football program. And not just football, but other, other events as well. We're, we're also in the process through the, the, the county SPLOS, we're going to be adding close to $300,000 of new playground equipment at various parks throughout the county, um, throughout our system. Um, for instance, up at North Lounge, we're getting a new structure there. Library Park, we're getting a new structure there. We're upgrading some of the existing playgrounds that we have, but as you know, um, I will tell you, having safe playground equipment this day and time is just, it's critical. And we're very fortunate that we're upgrading our existing playgrounds 
um, to where they need to be. And we still have a way to go on that, and we're looking forward to, you know, trying to continue to do that process. Um, also, just wanted to, to mention, too, that um, another thing that was added in this budget is at the Mildred Hunter Center, um, we decided, staff and I, we, we worked and looked at some, some, some plans, and this was something that had been looked at six or seven years ago to add a fitness area for the community center at Mildred Hunter. You know, we do have a senior center, and we do have fitness equipment there, so what we were looking at trying to do is do, do um, something similar at Mildred Hunter Center because we do have a lot of folks that that is really the only area that they can go to and, and, and work out. And, and as you know also, childhood obesity right now is at an all-time high in America. And, and, you know, we're out to promote healthy living and quality of life, and, and I am so thankful that our authority board, I mean, they get it. They, they want services like this to provide to our community and residents. So we're hoping that in February or first of March, sometime in March, that our new little um, fitness area, and it's not a huge area, we're looking at about 11 machines, different type machines, that will be open um, to the public. So those are just some of the things that, um, that's going on in Parks and Rec, and, and it is exciting times, I will tell you. Um, that's all I have for right now. I know that I've missed several things. <laughs>